Today we are going to install the GD40 on the pint and I am going to show you how to do it step by step. Inside the box, you are going to find a strap, the GD40, some Velcro pads, and the tools and cables. Besides that, you are going to need a drill. First of all, we are going to use this yellow screwdriver to remove your fender by undoing the four screws on top of the fender. And second, we are going to remove the front foot pad by undoing six screws, two of them on the top and four of them on the underside. And next, we are going to remove the lid of the controller box by undoing the screws. You do have to change to this gray bit. Now we are going to unplug this main power cable and we have to stick these protective pads on your controller PCB to protect your controller from being damaged. Plug in this parallel powering cable and we put this main power plug back into the place. You do have to bend the main power cable a little bit towards the top of the PCB in case it interferes with this little white plug here. The next step, we are going to remove this little sticker on the side of your controller's box lid. Passing the cable through this little hole here. Under the sticker, there is a little hole for you to passing out the cable. We have also included this gasket here, which is on the cable. You just have to squeeze it into the place. And after the installation, your controller box remains intact and waterproof. Don't forget to put all the screws back into its original place. And now we are just doing some cable management. And here you can see I'm using a little dab of super glue to hold the cables in place temporarily. And now we are going to install the DC port on top of your fender. First of all, put this nut in this triangle pocket on the side of your fender. And we can take this drill bit out and put it on your drill and start drill in the center of the nut. You don't have to worry drill into the wrong place because the nut we put in earlier is going to guide the drill bit into the right place. Please notice that you will have to drill all the way through. Screw the DC port on top of your fender. Now we are going to connect red to red and black to black. There are plenty of space for you to route the cable. Please make sure you don't pinch the wires during the installation. Now we just have to put every screw back into its place. Remember, that's four for the fender and six for the foot pad. With all the screws put back in, you just have to put the Velcro pads on the center of your fender, make a little mark and stick it on the top. Repeat the same process for the GD40. Now just give it a little pat. Theoretically, the Velcro pad should hold the GD40 in place, but we are going to need this strap just to make sure. After that, you can plug in the cables to connect the GD40 to the power port we just installed. And powering up your board, you will notice that the GD40 automatically wakes up and showing a green flash on the indicator. That means the connection between the GD40 and your board is established. If the indicator on the GD40 is showing red, that means you have to go out and ride your board with the GD40 connected until it turns green. And if your board is showing blue, please make sure you charge your board with the GD40 connected until it turns green. And that's all for the installation. Thank you for watching.